Yes. Please, have a seat. Yara, is it? Or is there something else you'd like to be addressed by? I noticed you didn't fill out the form completely. Yara is fine. Uh, my full name is Yara Stamo. All right. Then let us continue. Where are you from? I was apparently born in Druma, but admittedly I was far too young to remember anything from my time there. My sister and I, we were separated from our parents when we were young. We've traveled since we could walk, really. Just the two of us. Have you suffered any ill effects since the missing mom? Well, aside from my current disposition, which is quite curious, <laughs> I've gained these um, strange powers and this mark upon my chest. I also have zero recollection of anything that happened during that time. Can you provide details about your surroundings? leading up to stepping through the Ayudara. Hmm. I believe I was in the Northern Fangwood. In Last War, I had been separated from my colleagues. It felt like the forest would go on forever. I was so tired and dehydrated. I ended up seeing this large glowing gate amongst the trees. Yes, that is most interesting. Can you recall any specific emotions or physical sensations you experienced leading up to the event? Well, I had been separated from everyone else, so that was quite scary. I remember shaking like a leaf. And then I came upon the gate. For some reason, it filled me with ease at first. It was genuinely one of the most beautiful things I'd ever seen. When do your memories become hazy or unclear? Can you describe any specific moments before or after the event where your recollection is interrupted? Hmm. I was feeling quite unwell throughout my travels in the Fangwood, so they were slightly fuzzy during that fall. But my memory is completely blank from the point I walked up to the gate. Was anyone present when you traveled through the gate, aside from yourself? As you remember this conversation, you see a menacing figure in the room, in the shadows. It's huge and furry with massive claws. You feel like you've seen it before in your dreams. It leaves you feeling uneasy, as if something is watching you. <laughs> You awake with a start from your daydream, seeing Dr. Riddleson looking at you. Yara? Uh, how long was I out for? Are you alright? Um. Yes, yes, um, I suppose I was just, um, I was just dreaming. If you're sure? I'm not quite sure how long you were out. You fell asleep at some point. Is everyone else awake? I think so. Right. You're um, sure you're feeling all right? It's just startled, I suppose. I was having a perfectly normal dream. <laughs> and then I... I saw this huge figure. Enshrouded in fur with these gigantic claws. Claws. Indeed. Did you make it out? Couldn't figure out uh, any defining features, no. It's just brought back, but I. I feel like there's this presence 
Like it's, like it's weighing over me at the moment. Have you seen this figure before? Um. Yes. Yes, actually. Um. In some of my other dreams. Interesting. How long has this been going on? Well, I, I, I don't know, actually. For as long as I remember after returning, I suppose. How come you have not spoken with me on this? Well, I, I figured it was just a, you know, Nightmare. You know, people have recurring dreams all the time. It doesn't have to be anything significant, right? Well... We don't know that. If it's only begun happening since... Well... Since the moment. And you can't discount it as something... Unrelated. You're right. I should know better. <sighs> I'm all right, though. Thank you for um, for checking in. Um, what was it we were? <sighs> Forgive me. I I'm scatterbrained at the moment because I just uh, startled me. What was up? Why are we going to Seven Arches again? Yes. I suppose we should focus on our current objective. <laughs> well, we are going to Seven Arches because we are meeting with an associate of mine, one Fianara Carlestri. It is... It's been a significant amount of time since I have last corresponded with her, but since this missing moment took place. Well, I've had a lot of questions and I've sought out old contacts. Fionaro is one of them. She has some... well, some goals in Seven Arches. And... what I understand... She has information that may very well be helpful with our research. So, all of you will be doing some investigating in Seven Arches at her request, and it will be a good opportunity. I have, as you might have guessed, seven Ayudara in this village. I figure investigating such an occurrence, having seven Ayudara in one place, might be advantageous for us. Do you not agree? Uh, certainly. It'd be, uh, I mean, it's a lead, unless, right? That's what we're looking for. Yes. Anything that we can get at this point. And this Fionara. Fionara? Fionara. Uh, Fionara. What, what does she specialize in? Oh, well, Fionara is an academic of sorts. Much like me. Uh, a scholar. Specifically. Who knows? Right. She was being very cagey about the information that she has, but she's very knowledgeable. I imagine that it won't be a waste of time. At least I hope not. This trip has taken a month. It certainly has. Well, Doctor, if you think that she's being cagey, do you think it might be wise for us to hide our marks, then? Well, I suppose that's up to you. But... 
I don't think that it will be necessary. I suppose it is up to your personal preference. Have you been to Southern Arches before? No, not personally. From what I understand, it is not a very welcoming place for too many people. Oh? Why is that? Well, specifically elves and people with elven lineage. Uh, there is a curse that is associated with the place. It is known as the Obnubilit Curse. A terrible, terrible affliction. Clearly magical in nature. First, hmm. you fall unconscious, then you shrivel up, lose your memory, and dissolve into ash. Thankfully, it affects only elves. Hmm. Terribly curious, that is. Hmm. Well, hopefully our investigation won't have us staying there for long. Hope that we discover the answers we seek. Yes. Yes, Doctor. Yes. Right. I was curious about the Seven Arches culture. Uh, what are we going to be expecting from the people there? Well, I imagine they won't be very friendly to elves and half elves or people with elven lineage. Um, from what I understand, um, they're not allowed. However, there have been uh. reports ever since the missing moment happened that the curse is no longer. Other than that, I know very little about the place. All right. Are we meeting anyone specifically that has dealt with the missing moment? Perhaps aside from your contacts? No, not that I am aware of. Hmm. Just the patients <laughs> that we have back in Liebertstadt. Um and uh, myself and you all right i assume then we should be here yes, citing our marks all right i will go to that uh yara yara yes. you look a little sweaty and I can hear your heart rate all the way from here. Um, you having nightmares? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I have something for that if you want some. Just a little. You want it? Uh, what is it, though? Don't ask. Uh, uh, all right. Thank you. There you go. Do I take this before bed, or...? Um, just don't operate any kind of wagons or boats, watercraft. Understood, all right. For the next 16 hours or so. 16?! Well, it's just to be safe. Let me know if you have any more nightmares. I'm taking notes. All right. Or if, if you get the fever. Subject. Or if you start vomiting. Right, that's quite the exhaustive list, but uh, I'll let you know. Thanks. Are you concerned at all, Kaun? Am I concerned? Yes. Um, well, no, I have plenty of that stuff, so. I had meant about seven arches. Oh, no. Not at all. 
you're feeling all right then about the curse? It's a puzzle. I like puzzles. All right then. I like to think of it as an adventure. Very well, <sighs> doctor, if you may. Yes, Adronis. Well, uh, everyone else is concerned and asking all of these questions to you. I want to know personally, why us? What are you getting out of this? Hmm? Something personal to gain? Why research something that's so mysterious and dangerous? <laughs> why am I doing this? Simply the same reason that you all are as well knowledge we need to know what happened to all of us Adronis <coughs> aren't you curious don't you want to know what you did what I've happened? done a lot I've done a lot in my life the fact that I cannot remember that is the one that's uh, disturbing for you to take on a task that is so dangerous as you so say there has to be something at the end of this more than knowledge i hope to hear from you someday soon well i suppose if you can find a way to send a message to me it would have to be secure but that would be grand. Um, otherwise, we'll have to wait until both of our investigations are concluded. And we meet back in Liebertstadt. Yes. Well, we wouldn't want anyone to intercept a message and steal the thunder of our discovery. I guess you're right. But until then, I will hide this mark. I don't want anyone thinking that they can get too close and personal with me but until then i will entertain this doctor i on the other hand i will proudly wear my mark if someone has questions maybe i can ask some of my own very well we have time I don't know how much longer it will be until we reach seven arches. How long have we been traveling? I cannot keep up with the days. About a month. <sighs> I'm simply glad that we are able to keep our appointment with Fianara. Despite our delays in Karkow and Dagamark, I yeah. did not like what they did to the music. Mm. I didn't so Hard. much mind the delays. I got some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool things. I'm very excited about. Please I've don't. Don't bring it out, please, don't. I've been don't. practicing. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> you know what? that you didn't want me to keep it, but I just couldn't uh. resist. Uh. Oh, I, you kept it. I did keep it. Yes, I kept it. Yara, don't sound excited. Was, I knew that I could have gotten some gold for it, but I kind of really just wanted to learn, you know? I have a hobby, <laughs> so I've been practicing. Uh. Most assuredly. Can I play you a tune? I actually will. I don't know if you can call it that. I, um, didn't wait, I don't didn't know wait for if that is the best plan. It's a very small carriage. Good idea. Better to have an audience. Sure. No tone. Stop. It's not nice to lie to people, Dora. Hold on. I think I see someone out on the road. Ah, it looks like Fianara. 
Um, oh. Yes. Hello? That is... We can stop there. Right up ahead. Thank you. Carriage comes to a stop. And... Uh, Dr. Riddleson uh, readies himself and gets his cane, sort of. Um, gets to the, to the door and uh, opens it up and um, starts to get out of the carriage. I suppose that's our cue. Finally a stretching. I will hop out and help anyone down if they want it. Thank you. Outside, it's uh, sort of an overcast kind of day. Um, as the carriage waits, uh, Dr. Riddleson says, uh, I'll just be a moment and then we can continue on our way. Ah, Fianara, it's good to see you again. Um, ahead of Dr. Riddleson, you see a, um, uh, an elven woman, um, who looks a little bit like this. She has... Huge stacks of books on her back and scrolls all scattered about. Um, she has um, um, sort of uh, chocolate skin, um, uh, brown hair, and she um, sort of waves to you and uh, to Dr. Riddleson and she says, Ah, Doc Eddie, it's good to see you again. It's been a long time. Uh, so, these are your investigators, then? Yes, they are. They are my finest investigators. Um, I hope you have a lot to uh, tell them, and um, that this task that you have isn't too difficult, to say the least. Um, it shouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't be that difficult at all. Um, and, uh, I, I don't imagine that they will have too much trouble. Uh, Fienara sort of looks you all up and down and then takes a moment to look at you, um, uh, Karun, and says, maybe a little bit of trouble. Um. Do what? Well... You and I are both elves. They don't yes. exactly allow elves in Seven Arches. Uh, is it humans? It's humans again, isn't it? There mm. are a lot of humans there, from what I understand. I knew it. Uh, but it has more to do with the curse and not seeing us shrivel up and turn to ash. Well, um, I have something for this. Um, I could, I could brew up a little something. Maybe not appear quite as gorgeous. Well, uh, that might not be necessary. I, I, um, uh, I have some things. She begins to pull out this, um, sort of uh, the equivalent of like a duffel bag kind of uh, full of oh, let me help clothing you. And, and stuff. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll hold this, yes. Um, and she um, sort of opens it up and you can see there's all kinds of um, like clothing and stuff in there and there appears to be makeup. Um, she says it's a disguise kit and there's, um, there's five uh, different cosmetic changes. Um, really? Anyway... <laughs> I'll, I'll get to that in, in a moment. Um, Doc, are you going to be joining us? Or uh, are you still insistent on this other business that you spoke of? Uh, unfortunately, no. I, um, I must head uh, further east. I still have more of a trip. We've been traveling now for a month, but, um, well... Uh, I must go to Arangen, and um, uh, have you heard of this place? Yes, I have. It's 
a very famous place. Um, half of it disappears and reappears at random intervals. Yes, most intriguing. It's been happening for decades, according to my notes. Um, it's possibly unrelated to our present matter, but worth investigating all the same. We have to take any leads that we get. Yeah? Yes, that sounds good. Well, I'm sorry that we weren't able to talk for very long, but um, hopefully we'll get to see each other again soon. Yes. I'm sure we will. Now, if there's nothing else, um, uh, Dr. Riddleson turns to all of you and says, um, good luck with your investigation. And hopefully I will see you back in Liepetstad when you are done. Can't wait. Very good. Write a little tune for you. <laughs> Do you have everything that you need, Doctor? Any rations that you oh, might yes. need? I have sure. everything. Can't you tell from all the banks? Well, what if we need to get in touch with you? Well, if you can find a secure way, I am all for it. But until then, we'll have to wait until Lipic start. Be safe. Yes. We'll report with what we find when we last meet. All right. Good luck. Safe travels. Dr. Riddleson uh, steps back towards the carriage, uh, looks over his shoulder one more time, and then uh, towards you, Yara, and says, um, Make sure to write down any other times you have those dreams. Certainly. I'll keep a journal of it. All right. Yeah. And begins to climb into the carriage. And shortly thereafter, it begins to set off. Well, there he goes. Yes. Well. So, what are all of your names? Uh. Well, uh, I'm Arcelia. Arcelia. Hello, I am Fianora. Nice Hello, to I'm Karun. It's good to meet you. Karun, I knew someone with that name. Um, yes. I'm sure you're nothing like them. Probably. I am Rastak of the Ikalek clan. Uh, uh, Rastak? Yes, it's a pleasure. Very nice to meet you. Yara, Yara Starmore. Lovely to make your acquaintance. Thank you. Um, very nice. Yeah. Adronus. Adronus. Yes. So, the doctor's finest investigators. So he says. Um, well, as I told Doc Eddie, um, I have <laughs> some. You find something funny? I, I should have been calling him that the whole time. I bet he hates it. Are you close to the doctor? Oh, well... Yes and no. Um, he's a bit of a cracked nut. But a brilliant theorist. Mm. We've done work together in the past. Um, I've traveled to Liepetstad, and we've done some work out in the field. A lot of research, a lot of books. 
I can see you have quite a few on you. Oh, these? Oh, I need to bring these with me. These are... She sort of looks like a... Like a... An eighth grader with a... You know, L.L. Bean sack just bursting at the seams with, uh, with books. Um, spilling out scrolls all over the place. Oh, trust me. I understand. Um... So, uh, I have some information that I think you'll find useful, but if you want it, I need help with my own research first. What, what kind of help? In the distance, you can see a bridge, and she points towards it. And she says, I'd like to test a theory, but the oak stewards still aren't letting elves into seven arches. To be honest, I'm not especially keen to test the rumor about the curse suddenly lifting, nor the uptick in attacks from Gorgas, um, sort of monstrous, shadow-eyed fey creatures, if you're unfamiliar. Um, hmm. What can I say? I'm a reader and a writer, not an adventurer. Um, so here's what I need. Seven Arches is supposedly named for the cluster of seven Ayudara in the middle of the city. I've been going through old records, and I've reason to believe that those arches are... fake. Decoys to draw attention away from the real arches. But if I want to publish my findings, I need proof. Digging into her bag, she pulls out this foot-long glass tube with a cluster of hollow bulbs at one end, like a mace. This is an aura recorder. I've, ke- I've keyed it specifically to Ayudara, and when you pass it through an Ayudara, it will record the gate's magical signature. Uh, I'd like you to go to the town center, then use this to read the aura of the gates there. If I'm right, this will prove that the aura of the supposed seven arches is all wrong for true Ayudara. Sounds simple enough. Yes. And will this get us in any sort of trouble? Yeah, that's... What do you mean? Uh, with whatever sort of uh, law is present within Seven Arches? I suppose that could happen, theoretically. It really Mm. just depends on how you go about doing it. Um, I don't imagine, I mean, I don't really know the Oak Stewards per se. I haven't really been in town, but um, I don't imagine they'd be too happy if you're doing things with the Ayudara. Oh, so we can't just walk up and do this. Well, never underestimate the power of pleasant conversation. Could try to talk to them. Is it just elves that the humans here are being weird about, or is it anyone who's not the human? Because usually it's anyone who's not the human. Well, uh, anyone with elven lineage, I suppose. So it's just elves, huh? <sighs> yes. I, and again, I, I, I would suggest that they are mostly worried about the curse more than anything else. It's more for our safety than than theirs. Hmm. So what she's trying to say, Karun, is that there is a chance that you walk through some kind of invisible line and you become dust, ash. Nothing to worry about, right? Oh, I get it. Hmm. Knowing humans, though, they think it will spread to them. Hmm. I reason that. Well, 
How do we how do we test it? Do you think I could like cut off a little bit of hair and toss that through and see if that disintegrates? I don't think it's instantaneous. Hmm. Well, it's the aura recorder just needs to pass through the arch. That's all. Okay. Well, I suppose we should at least look into it and maybe not ask around directly, but see what the state of the city is like. Yes, and as I said, you're you're welcome to use this disguise kit. Um, there's five replacement cosmetics here, if you'd like. What um what kind of costumes are in here? Human costumes? Oh yeah, I imagine it's more more uh, like wigs and sort of generic things. So it's not like put on a human face. It's just like a nose. You know, it's got. It's got something like a wig that you <laughs> like can throw over your ears. <laughs> yeah. It's makeup and, you know, like a sets, sets of wigs and uh, stuff to kind of cover up your ears. Very well. Mime it is. Maybe your eyes as well. Going to pop on my human face. It'll be okay, Karu. We'll not let anybody come and danger you. If we pass through, and you'll be fine, then the, you can be the one to tell them that the rumor is false. Yeah? Sure. We and have... if you become Ash, I'll collect you and give you to uh, Arcelia. Very oh. kind of you. Me? Uh, uh, I'm sure the doctor has everyone's emergency information back in the bitch stad. So, could. But yes, of course, anything to help. Are you sure that you're okay trying this? Oh, definitely. Because it's not Karun trying it, it's Janet. Ah, perfect, Janet. Janet. <laughs> All right. The second you feel unwell, though, I'll scoop you up and carry you back out. I don't mind being scooped. Let's go. I will suggest, however, that you try to be discreet about whatever it is that you decide on doing. From what I understand, the Oak Stewards don't take too kindly to troublemakers. <sighs> We're not troublemakers. No one here looks like a troublemaker. No breaking and entering. Well, we also... The door is unlocked want to sully the name of the <clears throat> Doctor's Illuminated Consortium of e -pops. Oh no, he's done it again. He did. Done what? Whatever that... Another overly complicated name. Mm. Oh, he did that before? Yes. Mm. I thought it was clever. He's only done it so he can make the acronym acronym DICE. Does he play oh. DICE? Oh. I don't know. He's a very strange man. Tell me about it. Oh. Anything else we should know before we head in that you can think of? Well, just be careful, I suppose. Should we have reason to believe that the arches are heavily guarded? They're in the center of town. I've never been there. I, I, I would assume that there is at least some guard. Mm. All right. It is, regardless of the current situation, a sight to behold. So people that do go to Seven Arches are intrigued by it. It is in the center of town. They built the town around it. All right. Well, once Karun is done, I said, just that we go. It doesn't seem like it's too troublesome. Walk in, pass through an arch. 
know. The color looks lovely on you. Thank Janet. you. I've seen I've seen many humans. I did not realize humans blushed that way. They have uh. so much blush all the time. They don't need it. You can see the veins. Mm. No, did no you... human actually wears blush like that, just so you know. They don't. No. 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 Mm. Okay. I'm ready. Oh wait, no, I need a hat. Who wanted to carry the device? It's not exactly inconspicuous. I can put it in my bag. No one will see it then. It's a um, oh. rather... It doesn't appear to be that large. No, but... If we're getting... I remember, whatever you wish. You want me to just strap it to my leg and hide it under my skirt? That could work, actually. All right, hand it over. Ah, that's a nice hat. Janet. Thank you. I hate nature and I smell terrible. Let's go. Why would, why would oh. she say that? I'm uh, Janet. I'm uh, Janet. Uh, right. Yes. Okay. Lead the way. I will follow. It's just a few miles down the road there, across the bridge. Oh, you're not coming with us? No. No, I have help. no desire to test if the curse is still working or not. <clears throat> then I should probably stay back and make sure that you're safe. Good the time to... Yes. I thought you were investigating. Yes. Well, if something happens to you, then who will we bring it back to? Let them test. Janet will test the uh, curse, and I'll I'll help with your um. I'll, I'll I'll guard you. I take his arm and begin to lead him toward the gate with everyone she needs, else. No, she needs she needs help. Save. She was fine before we got here. She'll be fine afterwards, darling. Thank you. Good luck. See you soon. As you leave Fiona. Get away from here, Elf! Okay. No, you're drawing you're drawing more attention to yourself. We don't want that. We want They're no attention. Human. You're supposed to blend in. Got it. So, you know, you just try to keep it I'm not shouting uh, horrific things at people. Not not every human does that. A lot do. Uh, <clears throat> a lot. Well, anyway. To the gates. To the gates. Mm -hmm. So, you continue your journey towards Seven Arches along the road. And... Um, it is pretty easy... Um, you just kind of follow the road and the river, and you will eventually find your way there. Um, outside the town, you can see that there are guards, um, and a, they appear to be sort of briskly looking at people and waving them on as they begin to continue their way towards town. What do you do? Waving them on as in warding them away or saying, I see you. Oh no, they're they're sort of checking them and then mm. waving them into to town. Mm. Don't worry, I've got this. Hello. <laughs> Hello. These are my companions. We are making our way through. Perhaps hoping to catch some food and rest. Our travels. Are you? Hmm. A curious group. These are curious times. Do you have any elves with you? 
No. no. Why? Well, Seven Arches doesn't welcome any elves. You see, there's a curse on this place. It's very dangerous for elves to enter. No. Oh. That's oh. troublesome. I'm going to need you all to make a check for me. Now. First roll. For everybody except for Karun. <laughs> Uh, this will probably be a deception check. Uh, <sighs> Karun, you can roll me either deception or stealth. Oh, no. <gasps> no elves here. I hate elves. Okay. So, the uh, guard starts to look you all up and down, stops at you, Karun, and as they do, uh, Arcelia and Dronus start to get in the way. I am a very <sighs> tall woman. It's very easy for me to get in the way. And I can climb her very easily and make her even bigger. What? Everything's quite normal. What's the, what's the matter? You know, there's a saying, you don't look for trouble, trouble doesn't find you. There's no trouble here. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. I'm going to need a check from Arcelia and from Adronis. Um... Let's say that this is diplomacy or deception. Up to you. I will do diplomacy. Look, we've been traveling a long time. I could use a good chair to take my boots off. You look like you've been standing in the sun all day. Maybe I can buy you a drink or something. 24. Ah, a drink, you say? Um... <clears throat> You have a favorite uh, haunt? Place to drink? Well, there's a cabaret that's in town. If you like that sort of thing. All what right. do you like? Excuse me, I was talking <laughs> to a very large mm. person here. Um. Uh. Hey, why don't you just stop on by the cabaret after your shift is done? I'll find my table and I'll buy you a drink. How's that sound? Sounds wonderful. Uh, my name is Duke. Duke. A noble name. Well, my parents had grand ambitions for me, but... Uh, <laughs> anyway, Mind if we call you Dookie. Yes, yes, I do mind. We'll be going. Thought, I'll see you later. When you make Duke. friends, you add the E to the end. Is that no, how it works? Nice. Come on, Janet. No. Oh. Let's get going. Dookie was Coming. a good uh, Honey brush, uh, cabaret, uh, sundown. I'll see you there. They're always good drinking one. and horny. Yeah, but, uh... Wait, wait before we cross... Are you gonna cross through? Be careful. Well, I don't hesitate. I okay. Call attention. Uh-huh. Just walk through, there's no issue. And I, I can just through. go through, right? You guys are yes. freaking me out. Let's go. All right. Just go. Move along. Okay. Go. <laughs> Walked through. Sure. Uh, you begin to walk into town. Um, and you can see beyond the um, this path in the road it starts to open up to here. Hmm. 
Mm. But Jonas, you're lagging behind. Come on. Well, I was, I'm sorry. I was well, I was waiting for the ash, but this, everything is fine. <laughs> Correct. Everything you is fine. You're sweat, you know. I don't want one of our companions to autoret- automatically turn into ash. You know, it's, it's is not the right. Accent okay? Should I change it up a little to fit in better? Yeah, fine. I think. Should my be fine. name is Jenny. That sounds worse. Much worse. We'll work on it. I suppose we will. Where is an inn? We should at least find a place to fit in. So obviously, you did not turn to dust or have some not sort yet. of asphyxiation that you are aware of. You have seemingly walked into town. You seem to be all right. Not even a tingle, not any sort of strange feeling. You just kind of make your way through. Still rubbing my human fingers together. See if it's uh, going to crumble at all. Just the normal flakiness. Very good. <laughs> um, as you enter town, um, at a glance, it seems like this place is built at the confluence of two streams, Wendwater and Fogmorn Creek, which continue on as um, they flow eventually to join the Selen River. Uh, there is a mm-hmm. third artificial waterway known merely as the canal that connects the two streams west of their natural meeting, turning the city's central district into an island. The entire city is built um, on what looks to be ruins. Like you can see little evidence of ruins around um, the city as you're making your way through. Um, a lot Anything of, within reach? Within reach? Probably not, but it's stuff, I mean, like, it's kind of on the borders, so, like, if you wanted to, you could go look at it. If I see Other... a particularly old-looking rock on the road, I might stop and pick it up. Uh, Just flakes yeah. of an other better civilization. Give me a, um, yeah, I mean, give me a perception check, I guess. Okay. 23. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty. Oh, this looks like a bit of limestone. I'll just put that in my pocket. You can actually make a roll for me. Um, this would definitely uh, be a lore check. I think you can roll your esoteric lore for this. This would be... 24. Not your normal category, I believe, so it would have the two penalty, I think. Mm-hmm. 22. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, from the piece that you have picked up, this place is built on the ruins of a pre-Earthfall elven settlement. Earthfall is a big event. Pretty much everybody knows about it. Um, it happened a long time ago, and it was kind of like a cataclysmic event that happened and societies sort of crumbled and new ones um, sprung forth and um, it was a big deal. Um, So to see something that's pre-Earthfall doesn't happen very often. Oh, this is a this is a very old place. Look, Yara. Mm -hmm. Um, Long time ago. Built upon an old city that maybe there's underground passages we could use. Quite possible. That city is a thought. Upon a city. Hmm. I might take a dip in the canal later. Good thinking. Hmm. You still feeling okay, Yara? Any new it- symptoms at all? What is. Oh, um, no, no, no symptoms. Excessive sweating. But I mean, I think I'm... Tingling in extremities. 
I feel like you're going to make those things happen if we keep No, no, I'm just it. asking if it's happening. What no, did no. Janet do to you? I don't, I don't know. Janet, what did you do to me? It, I just gave you, you know, a little nip. It's nothing. Just curious. Right. Uh, Let me know if anything bad happens. Uh, why does it seem like she's um, hoping for something to happen? Not hoping, just taking notes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my hands are sweating. No, well, that's normal. All right. Okay. To an inn. Before like someone a... collapses. Getting yes, yes. up. <laughs> Let's go. Let's, uh, we know where. I... Make our way to the center of the city. We could survey the area on our way there. Mm. Good idea, Jonas. Of course. Hmm. We could so we will ask someone if they know where any good taverns are. I know the one with the. Uh, uh, the friend we just made. Hmm. Or the Duke, yes. Sunset oh, the cabaret. cabaret. Yes, Sunset yes. Cabaret, I think. The dirty human in the beginning of the town back there? You can't you talk like that here. There, Sorry, the beautiful God, human. God, just say guard. It's f- guard. How are you less adjusted than I? I don't like it. Uh, I understand. I look for any sort of inn as we walk. Sure. Uh, along the streets, trees and shrubs line uh, line the streets and flourish in parks with many residents simply building around them rather than um, knocking trees down so there's a very like organic feel to this place um houses again are, are built where the trees aren't as opposed to knocking trees down to build these places um and um what we can do here is enter an exploration um uh mode of the game if you'd like to have a look around town would love to. Sure. So, let's take a look at some options for exploration mode in Pathfinder 2E. We have a few different options. Um, you can um, avoid notice. You can defend. You can detect magic. You can follow an expert. You can hustle. You can investigate. You can... Repeat a spell, you can scout, you can search. Um, I will scout. Okay. Um, I want to... Is there anything that's climbable? Um... In, are you headed to the center of town? Are you, are yes. you going straight there? Okay. Yes, I want to go there, but not be... I'm not going to be flashy about it. I'm going to make sure that I stay in the within the crowds. I'll tell you what. Why don't I just bring you here? That works. Mm-hmm. And then you can be your own judge. Excellent. Um, you can see that there are seven Ayudara in sort of a ring in the center of this uh, plaza known as Arch Plaza. You uh, make your way. It's a bit of a walk. Uh, I'm going to say it probably took you a little while to get here, but um, you do find it eventually. It's not too hard. There's a lot of people that are uh, readily available to point this place out to you. There are various merchants and things all about, and they have um, uh, various stalls and things. Um, I would like, as we are asking for directions, to try to get an impression of these people. Is it 
Is it a haunted place? Is it a place that has local suspicion? How do the people who live here feel about it? Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's get a roll then. Um, and we can also get a roll from you, um, Adronis. Let's see, scouting. I mean, you can do a basic scout or you can, you know, really case the joint, you know? Like you can, um, you can really, um, uh, find good places to, to be sneaky and et cetera, if you'd like to do that. Um, I'll do this. I'll, I'll be stealthy and go around. I want to listen to conversations that people have near the arches. If there's any gossip. Sure. Uh, go ahead and make a stealth roll. 13. All right. Um, there's not a lot of gossip. It's the usual stuff of like, uh, you hear how much they charged me for that health potion? I, I had this horrible case of bursitis and I was just, oh, it hurts real bad, but I wasn't expecting it yet. Oh, I have to pay that much. You know, a lot of those kinds of. Moving on. Yeah. yeah. A lot of those kinds of, um, stories and whatnot. Nothing like juicy. Uh, that you that you over here. Uh, that's fine because that's exactly what I wanted. So I'll go back to the group and um, I'll just lean up against a stall that we're next to and say, "Well, good news is there is no gossip, there is no fears, no one is even paying attention. It's mm. just like it's here. It's a part of the town. Mm. It's good news." Arcelia. Mm. Oh yes. Uh, hello, yes, uh, directions, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm writing a book, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, novelist, um, uh, and I'm just curious about the arches. So, essentially, I'd like to make an impression here, mm-hmm. uh, which I believe is a diplomacy skill check. Mm-hmm. Sure. 22. Okay. Um... Absolutely. Um, they, you've definitely made an impression. First of all, pretty easy to spot you. Second of all, um, the, uh, the person that you were speaking to, this, this woman, uh, seems to be, um, uh, listening to every word that you say very, very carefully. You said your name was Arcelia. Yes. This is, um, a human woman with um, black hair tied up in like a, a ponytail. She's sort of like taking taking it out of the ponytail right now and just kind of letting her hair, hair down a little bit and just poofing it up. Mm-hmm. And, and your oh, name? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, my name is Alice. I'm sorry, what did you need again? I was just wondering about the arches. Yes. I'm new, and I don't quite know much about them. I did hear about dreadful curse, but... Are they dangerous? Dangerous? Well, I suppose the oak stewards would consider them dangerous. They don't really let anyone near the Ayudara. Who are the Oak Stewards? Who are... Well, they're the Druids that sort of govern this town. Let's see. They're, they're in charge of this place, and, and they... Um, well, they, they protect the Ayudara and protect the, the wildlife here. Would you say that this is a very peaceful place? Usually. Not so much lately. Oh. Why not? What has happened? Uh, Well... There have been sightings of some... some fey creatures... about the town... lately. Fey? Yes. Don't fey mean good luck? Not always. 
Oh. Um. What have they reportedly been doing? Well. There's been some attacks. Very strange fey creatures, apparently. They're, they're known as Gorgas. Do you know what a Gorga is? You? Can um, make an esoteric lore check. Yeah. Damn. That's an eight. Unfortunately, no. You've never heard of them before. You've been safe, though, right, Alice? Yes. Uh, I suppose. I'm. I live in town here, so the Oak Stewards do a good job of protecting us. Gorgas. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Are they a type of spirit? A spirit? Um, well, I don't know much about them. Um, but there was something that happened several days ago. It had to do with Hatria Pebblesworth's body being found. There was an overturned cart, a mutilated mule, and they discovered it on a lonely dirt road just south of town. Oh. Ever since Stratful. then, everybody steered clear of the road. That's why the road coming from the west there was, it's, it's been very busy. See. Interesting. Thank you, Alice. <laughs> I uh, think that would be quite useful to start my novel. Yes, you're welcome. And I hope it, it goes well for you. And, and good luck. Thank you. Uh, do you know where the honey do? Cavernet is by any chance? Honey uh, Dusk? Oh, you mean Honeybrush Cabaret. Mm, yes. Yes. Yes, I do. And uh, oh, she begins to direct you, and let's do this. As I unblock this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, the Honeybrush Cabaret will be number eight on your map here. And the Arch Plaza is number four. If I can actually select the right layer, there we go. Hmm. So you know where things are. Thank you. you Hope you have a nice day. <laughs> Yes, you, you, you as well. Uh, are you going to be in, long, in town for long? Uh, I do plan on going to the cabaret later tonight. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I'll see you there. Yes, certainly. Bye. Have a nice day. You too. Y Bye. Y'all, y'all come back now. Here. <laughs> I turn to the group and I relay all the information. How do you I'd... do that? You make very quick friends. <laughs> well, as I told you before, Arashtok, uh, I work as an emissary. It's kind of my job. I suppose. You were saying, Yara, sorry. Uh, this was actually me trying to see if I could, uh, See if I could kind of notice any of the guards' movements near the arches. And if oh. I could watch them for a while. Sure, sure. Um, okay, let's see. What will this be classified as? Let's get I have no idea. <laughs> hmm. It 
say this is gather information or uh let's see survival i'd say this is like track it's so diplomacy. is that a... it's either diplomacy mm -hmm. or survival i think okay i'll go with diplomacy that's a nine yeah um they're de the the guards are definitely moving but you can't really make out too much of a pattern from talking to people I was trying to take note on uh, their movements, but um, <clears throat> seems like we may have to go by the uh, by the what's it, what is that that uh, that analogy? There's the something of the the what? The hair of the dog? No, 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 no. Like by the um, was it uh, the hair on our neck? No, not the hair on the neck. Um. I don't know. We're just going to have to wing it. The husk of the beetle. That sounds right. I think it's Could right. Be. Could be correct. We have not been told anything of not being able to just go up there. Right? You want to try? I don't well, see why not. Didn't that they don't want people up at the arches? They don't want yeah. anyone destroying them, obviously, but what if we are new to town and we've traveled to see the famous Seven Arches and uh, our Sylviad is writing a book about them and we are there to be tourists and wow, Seven Arches, here they are. Well, Ooh. I am writing about it in my diary, so. <laughs> oh. There's ways to go about it. We just not walk up there and, you know. What are they going to do? Arrest us? Yeah. Probably, probably not. They probably know more about these fey creatures that have been attacking. All right. I say we go up there. and will draw one of them out. They at least ask questions about us. And then we open up to being like, wow, we really wanted to see the Seven Arches. We've never been here before. Oh, please show us. Tell us more. So sorry. We didn't mean to step on sacred ground. Why is it sacred? And so on and so forth. Should I be right there too, or should I maybe just we can over stay there? Stay in the back together. Right. Hide behind lizard. <sighs> that Too works. Bad, I so I say Yara and uh Arsaria, you have the aura and um Well You're easy to spot? I mean that in a very good way. Oh, are we doing a sort of distraction thing? Well, How I was more so saying, two? just go up there and be a tourist. So, pretend we're really, really stupid and very interested in everything around us when we're not actually very interested in everything around us. Like a human, uh, yes. Well, we are very interested in the Seven Arches and be authentic about being interested in the Seven Arches. Oh no, I was but... just trying to get into character. Oh, okay. Um, you've heard about yes. the Seven Arches all your life, and you've never had a chance to come out here. You won a free trip out here, and now you're traveling with a beautiful person who writes books, and you want to know more about it. Two beautiful women doing all of this. Innocent. Right. I mean, I would go up there, but I feel like they would probably think that I'm trying to do something other than be a tourist. Shall we then, Asilia? Yes, um, after you. But wait, I, one more thing. If something does go down, would you like me to um, handle it? Uh, what does um, handle it uh, entail exactly? Mm. Let's hope nothing happens. On with it. Drunk. Don't worry, Yara. Like... How many how many guards are over there? I had the arches. There were there were two that you saw. There were just two that we saw. 
All right. Then um, Just before to take you guys... Note, um, oh, yeah. For our podcast listeners, Adronis took out a coin and flipped it for you. If, before you guys go, um, can I just... I want to hand you something in case things go really badly. What um, is that? Well, don't poke yourself with it because it's a little dangerous. Uh, just take these vials. I'm going to hand over the two vials. And if things go really bad, just bump into them with this and then run. Perhaps we shouldn't be planning for this sort of thing the moment we step into town. They're just humans. A lot of them. It's true. I, 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 I do not think that things are going, going, going to go awry. But, you know, it's always good to have precaution. Just in uh. case. Certainly. That's very thoughtful. Back. Thank mm. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Can to be back here. <clears throat> You're welcome. You're getting better, to be sure. Thanks. Yes. All right, infamous author. Shall we go then? Oh, I mean, I'm an amateur. I have, I have you in public. You are an infamous author. Oh, oh, yes. Well, we don't have to say infamous. You're just, you know, a very skilled writer. Him. Perhaps I mean, you're a shadow I, writer, and that's why most people don't know your name. I've only been writing for a few years. Just... Anyway, mm. uh, all right. Hello. Certainly. So you approach the oak steward in front of the arches. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. They. Look like, mm-hmm, like this. Uh, hopefully, I can show you this. Uh, oh, hey, there we go. Hello there. The Oak Steward is wearing a green cape with a brown and white uh, accoutrement with uh, wooden pauldrons, a large wooden staff, and antlers uh, in a um, crafted, uh, carved out of uh, wood um, as a sort of headpiece. Um, uh, and they look at you and say... I help you? Uh, yes, I am, uh, obviously not from around here. And, uh, I am hoping to write, uh, a bit about my stay here in Southern Arches. I just have a few questions. Obviously, these are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven arches. Um, you are dressed as if you're in a position of great honor. Uh, may I ask who you are? Why? I've never met anyone dressed as you are. It's very interesting. I'm something of a researcher, amateur writer. Need you to make a diplomacy check for me, please. Okay. While this is going on, Yara, uh, mm-hmm. you the partner in crime here. Is that what I what I picked up? Yes, indeed. Okay. At the moment, I'm keeping an eye out and uh, watching his mannerisms personally. Okie doke. All right. Um, so I want you to position yourself. Um, where you are doing all this stuff. There's crowds around, you know, there's, uh, marketplace, uh, stalls and, and vendors and people walking around and stuff. And there is another oak steward sort of making a patrol around. 
I am simply trying to strike up pleasant conversation. I am genuinely curious about any information we can get. It will help our investigation. Okay. You got a 22 again. My god. It's like it's my job or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Um, okay. So, let's see. Uh, first things first. Uh, as you are sort of separating here and taking a look around, uh, Orashtak, the thing that you're by is kind of like a podium. Um, nobody's there right now, but this would be some kind of, you know, like where a speaker would, would stand and, and address the, the people in the, in the plaza. Um, or any crackpot that has some sort of, uh, amazing idea. Um... There are various wagons and things for various goods, sort of all about. Uh, Yara, you are right up next to uh, Arcelia. Indeed. And um, what are you doing while Ar Arcelia is talking with the Oak Steward? Hmm. Honestly, I'm just keeping an eye out, so my eyes are shifting, I'd suppose, between the guards and watching their movements personally. Um... I think if he says anything in particular, I might tune back into the conversation, but I'm mostly trying to just keep a beat on the situation outside. Sure. Perception check. Okay. 22. Wow. Twinsies. Okay. Uh, and uh, what are the rest of you doing? I was looking at this podium while I may not be the... I want to interface with others easily. I was noting it might be a good place to cause a distraction at one time later. Fair enough. These market stalls by me, what the, is there, are they, do they have any attendants? Human oh, yeah. attendants? Yeah. yeah, you can probably smell what? there's different kinds of food and stuff there. Is there anything other than food? Mm. Always food with them. <laughs> Let's find out. I'm gonna crack open the dice. Yes, there is. Cool. It looks like uh, there is uh, some woodcraft as well as some, um, I imagine, uh, general goods. Neat. Um, I'm going to go peruse the general goods. Just keep a little eye on the group over there. Okay. Adronis? I am in front of uh, the store with the food. I'm going to see if there's any free samples. And I am just kind of joking around with the attendant and uh, like sideways leaning on the stone. But like, yes, and that's... It's fantastic. What about these ar these archers? You know, everyone's always talking about the archers, you know? And, uh, uh picking up samples and eating it while talking to them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Roll me a, roll me a diplomacy check. Because I don't think there are free samples here. <laughs> oh, no! The most important check of Should've the entire the campaign. <laughs> a ten. Uh -oh. You're like, you're like at the, uh, at the produce section in the grocery store just eating uh, grapes. These aren't yeah, free, yeah. I guess. Yeah, these are very good. Oh, you're very good at your job. I, those I aren't free. Uh, okay. I don't, oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Spit that okay. out. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Okay. Just wipes it off, puts it. Right, so about these arches. And I'm just keeping an eye out on uh, the two ladies at the uh, guard. Sure. Um, Arcelia, uh, the Oak Steward uh, addresses you and uh, and says, what is your business here? Uh, as I've said, I am just curious about this landmark. Never come across anything like it before. Um, Someone mentioned something about Fae attacking people on the southern road? Yes, 
You should stay clear of that road. It's very dangerous lately. Uh, do you know anything about these creatures? The Gorgas? Yes. Very dangerous. Well, I hope you could enlighten me with a little more in case I stumble upon one. I would like the means to defend myself. Well, it depends on what kind of warrior you come across. Um, could be a... Uh, yes. They, they are the fey embodiment of diurnal creatures fear of the dark beings of shadow and hunger oh. they love to prey upon light loving creatures and there are many different kinds and each embodies a different facet of the night's countless terrors oh that does sound dangerous um, do you have any suspicion to why only recently did they become a problem? Not exactly. Nothing. Nothing you should concern it. yourself with. Oh yes, of course. I, I understand. Um, what can you tell me about these arches and your esteemed position here? I am not a tour guide. I understand that. I am no tourist. I am a learned person wanting to document my experience here. Please. It could provide information to whoever ends up reading this. One last person for you to have to answer. <laughs> Or maybe more? <sighs> the Ayudara are an ancient network of magical portals, sometimes crudely referred to as elf gates. They always take the form of stone arches like these, and each is activated by a specific magical key that opens a portal to a linked gate somewhere else on the material plane. Many uh, Ayudara and their keys have been lost, so only a few functional gates are known to remain. And are these functional? Yes. Are you not here for, to make... Not for everyone that walks through, no. Hmm. Oh. Only some people. Only those that are deemed worthy. Deemed worthy. I look to Yara. Hmm. Is it okay if we perhaps get a sketch of it? Of course. For her book. But Beautiful. Don't go past the rope. Oh. All right. Oh. It's gonna what? be hard to get details like that. No, I particularly want to see the one that's all the way across. Hmm. Hmm. I'll try my best. Um, what what do what would they consider deemed worthy? That's not for a me to say. Sketching. Oh, someone else in, in your druidic order, then perhaps. He looks a bit hesitant. 
Make a I another smile. diplomacy check. And give my pretty little smile. <laughs> 13. He will look at you and say, I know I've quit the questions. If you want to draw your gate, that's fine. But don't pass the rope. Well, if you'll excuse oh. me. Yes. All right. I continue to stand in front of him and I just sketch. Move along, please. Oh, sorry. I take one step to the left. Sketch. <sighs> Further back. You're obstructing my view. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> While she's still talking to him, uh, I'd like to try and sneak off and see if there is a point in which I can maybe uh, sneak in, if I can at all. Um, I'm assuming the guards are all looking very, very... Uh, intently at the moment so it's not going to be a really good opportunity maybe sure um yeah i mean you can make a stealth check uh it'll involve basically waiting to try and see if you can find an opportunity okay if you want to do that <sighs> okay um 17 i dropped my book oh sh shit oh sorry <laughs> Let's try and make it through the bushes here. All right. Um, okay. Now. You find a good opportunity uh, to try and uh, go unnoticed. And you find... You find uh, basically a time when the guards aren't really paying attention to you. Arcelia drops her book. Now, what do you do? Hmm. Uh, I have this thing attached to my leg, kind of like you would to conceal a knife currently. Um, I would assume this window of time is not a large amount of time. Um... You don't, I will... you don't really know, but you're you're making an assumption. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I'm just talking my thought process, talking mm -hmm. the thought process. Um, I'm going to try to just quickly walk through one of the arches and then walk back out, try to get myself back into a, a position outside the rope. Sure. So just to be clear, you're mm -hmm. you're hopping the rope and going mm -hmm. in. Okay. Yes. Alrighty. Um, let me check on one thing, please. Hang on one second. Okay. As you uh, cross the rope, you hear this horrible ringing noise. Um, it sounds like a bell that is very high pitched and is ringing with, uh, extreme fervor. Uh, everyone in town sort of like, uh, in, in the plazas starts to like cover their ears as this alarm begins to sound. Um, <laughs> uh. And is there any way we, any of us can make any actions or all of us make any actions while this is happening? Let's check. Mm. Um, oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like a bell. It sounds like an angry squirrel. Um, and it sounds like it's coming from exactly where you crossed. Um, it's about as loud as a human scream and it's still going. Um... You, what would you like to do? 
I mean, I'm I'm at this point there is already a fucking alarm, so uh I'm gonna go ahead. I'm still I'm I'm going through it. I'm making it look like I'm trying to get a close look at all the like ins like the whatever the etchings on it are. Like I'm trying to take a look at it being like, oh wow, it's beautiful. Okay. Uh what are the rest of you doing when the alarm goes off? <sighs> Are there, are there drinks at this store? Yeah. <laughs> okay, not I'm going free, to though. grab a drink, throw down a copper. A copper? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, pay I have to, I have one be, penny for this. Yeah, I have, I have to be fast. I'm just like, whoop. And then I'm going to be like, drink a lot. And then I'm going to run towards... Uh, over here, Arcel is dropping her book at the same time. I'm gonna bump into the guard by accident to be like, oh, excuse me. Oh, God. <laughs> Whew. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, this is going to be a deception check. <laughs> oh wow that's a critical fail and the way the critical fails work in pathfinder 2e folks wow. is you uh you don't you don't fail when you get a natural one you fail when you get 10 less than the dc uh and you critically succeed when you get 10 more than the dc and if it's an attack you also get a success when it's a natural 20 uh, critical uh, success when it's a natural 20. Um, however, <laughs> this was a natural one as well as being uh, 10 under. Uh, as you begin stumbling over towards uh -huh. the oak steward, uh, immediately you see the oak steward uh, smack their staff on the, on the ground as you uh, begin to approach. And there is a... Uh, uh, a moment where the the there is a, a a blaze of light that emanates from the staff, and Ugh. you can you're sort of like caught off guard instead, uh, Dronus. The light sort of uh, blinds you for a moment as um, you see the oak steward say, "We've got another one." Another one? What do you mean? I feel safe. I've given you a drink. It must be working together. What? Uh, no, is, what are you talking about? Uh. The oak stewards are uh, going. Uh, Yara, please move yourself to where you think you were for this. Oh by yeah. The way. Um. Yeah. So I probably would have tried to get a little bit away from that guard. So I'd probably be over this way, heading towards that gate. But okay. I wanted to. I wanted to see about using some of my uh, special baloney. Um. Eerie flicker, perhaps? Oh, you're gonna mm. use that? Mm. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm trying not to get caught. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, wow. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wanted to say it for so long and then I messed up. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Um, okay. So as the alarm begins to go off, what do you think we see? There's going to be more to this, but what do you think we see, Yara? Uh, you would see this energy start to flow around me and my body will start to flicker in and out of existence. So you'll see kind of like a an, an image and then an after image and then an, another image of me just fading in and out until I'm essentially completely concealed. And it's that point that we're going to go ahead and take our break. Oh my god! We'll be back in just a few minutes, everybody. Hang tight for more of Gatewalkers. Table Story's very first Pathfinder show. We'll be back in just... And the fastest break in existence has ah. ended. Refreshing. That's great. So, Yara, as you begin to flicker... Something happens. I'm gonna need you to make a flat D20 roll, please. Uh, 
18. That's a good thing. Okay. Uh, if you could please make a note someplace that the next time you try this, the DC will be 10. But as you do this, your body flickers momentarily into the ethereal plane. And go ahead and make a, uh, uh, let's see. Well, make a stealth check. And does conceal give any sort of a, um, bonus to that? Or is that just being factored in on your end? It's being factored. 19. Okay. Yeah, so um you can you can sort of probably I would say if you want to get to you know anywhere within I would say anywhere within 50 feet you can probably sneak to without getting noticed. I'm going to go directly to um do any of the gates seem more ornate? Or like they they seem older or anything like that. Any particular um, differences between them? Perception check. Ten. It's too hectic. You can't tell. Okay. Um. That's a lot of gates. <laughs> uh. So I'm gonna take the uh, the aura reader off of my leg, with that uh, in mind. Uh, and I'm gonna try and just start wiggling it through uh, a couple of them. Uh, so I'll try to get, basically, I'll do three of them and then I'll, I'll I'll try to flee. So I'll go up to this one after I do the one that I was just at. Okay. And then I'll head to the northernmost one. And then I'm <laughs> waiting for an opportunity to get the hell out of there. Okay. Um, I would like you, let's see here. love that you guys just did the most obvious way. Just brute force. Um, I did it to punish uh, Frank, to be honest with you. <laughs> Some of uh, us are still in our human disguises. Oh, yeah. uh, so great. Who's hiding um, over here? <laughs> pure brute force. Um, all right. Let me just double check. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. Nothing happens as you hold it there. But you can start to see that there are some lights that are beginning to uh, illuminate. The f there are three bulbs. The first one has illuminated. And now, and this is, I'm going to okay. need everybody to click on your token and roll initiative. Oh my god. I was just drinking. Right. I'm just sketching. You don't have to room. fight, but... You do have to see where you are in the uh, in the turn order here. So again, click your tokens first. Oops. Uh, I'm having so much struggle. Initiative. Initiative. Under perception, right? Yep. Blinded by the light. Okay. Uh, we are now in turn order. Uh, Arcelia, this bright light sort of goes off from this uh, Oak Steward staff. Um, you can see sort of magic begins to swirl all around it. Oh, good, good heavens. What is happening? There's so much noise. Uh, what are you doing? My eyes. <laughs> My eyes. They, oh. They seem rather unconcerned with you. What are you trying to do here? Uh, mostly just confused. Um, I will stumble back. Uh, as I'm stumbling back, I close my book against my chest. I don't want to seem threatening. I want to draw away from what's happening. And I will walk backwards and actually position myself behind the guard. Oh, what the? What are you doing with your stick? Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Alrighty. The Oak Steward Enforcer. Um, 
looks over towards where the alarm is sounding from, you know, uh, you can sort of, it's, it's kind of easy to tell where it's coming from. Um, sort of like this spot over here. Let's draw like a little circle there. Okay, and of course that color is gray by default. Awesome. Make that red. Um, and um, they look, they're looking over there. They're not quite understanding what's going on. And then um, I'm going to make a roll here just to see if they notice you. Yara? Okay. They do not notice you, Yara. Uh, so, uh, at the moment, they are very concerned with the uh, two people around them. Um, because they deal with this kind of thing a fair amount. Um... Mm, Okay, I think what we're going to see here is, um, uh, we're going to see a bunch of thorns and like, um, vines begin to sprout all along the staff and they get stamped into the ground, uh, as... I'm going to need a saving throw as this Oak Steward Enforcer is going to cast Tanglefoot um, on you, Adronus. I thought I was just drinking. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. This is going to be a... I guess this is a reflex check. Reflex? Yep. <clears throat> reflex saving throw. Um. Under your AC. Okay. 13. Oh, that might be a fail. Uh, do, 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 do. That is a fail. Uh, so you see vines begin to <laughs> begin to entangle uh, all around you um, and sort of hold you in place. And the oak steward yells, I've got one of them. I saw another one. I don't know which way she went. And uh, further back behind the rope uh, to the north, you can hear uh, another oak steward say, uh, I'll try and find them. And they are going to try and find you, Yara. That is a fail. I will move and try again. That is a fail. Okay, a rash tack. Yes. Sorry, a rash talk. That's all right. I apologize. You know what we should do? Mm. Well, not yet, not yet. Let's wait. Okay. <sighs> this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. <sighs> the guards. Are they looking in my rough direction at all? Oh, probably not. Hmm. And this podium, would it perhaps be better at blocking sight, say, in this rough direction? Oh, like yeah. If I, I mean, over if, on this yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. You definitely good. have cover there. Perfect. Well, I would love. Uh, I've turned. Move roughly to the other side. Just walk up on it and move to the other side of it. Okay. And uh, I'd like to see if I can disrupt some of the magic of this rope. 
How would you like and to cast, do that? Uh, ray of frost upon it. Okay. You can make an attack roll. That is a critical. You hit the rope. It freezes where you hit it. Hoping to see if magic messes with magic. It appears it does not, but you really hit the shit out of that rope. <laughs> I did what I could, and I step, I stay where I am, hoping something else happens better. Didn't stand a chance. <laughs> That's right, rope, I, I mean, got you. <laughs> I mean, the rope is, wow, it's really, it's very impressed. It has hit points. Maybe it has a bad day now. Yep. <sighs> yep. Okay. Is that it for your turn or rash talk? That's all I can do at the moment, yes. All right. Yara. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So, does Sneak come with any particular um, amount of movement, or is it just your regular amount of movement? I would assume so, right? Sneak, um, yes. specifically. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay, let's whip out the book. Um, if you have never played Pathfinder before, there's a lot of rules. Um, so what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna learn the game together, folks, because, uh, I've definitely taken a look through things, but... I am not going to get it right on the first try. The second try, probably even by the 30th episode. Um, so feel free when I screw something up horribly to chime in and let me know about it. I will probably hate you forever, but then I will love you for, for also doing it. So that's that's that. Um, so let's see. Um, It seems like it is half your speed, straight up to half of your speed. Understood, okay. Um, well, with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and I will uh, cast Guidance on myself. You'll see that uh, I wave my hands and a blue energy kind of emanates from it and that gets sucked into uh, the rest of my body. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this as an opportunity to try and sneak on out of here so that's a stealth roll yes uh yes absolutely it's essentially at the end of your movement um so you move away from the ayudara with the device yes okay okay as you do one of the bulbs go out and this is the northern one interesting okay um, all right. Eleven. Do you have a bonus? Uh, for guidance. Oh, oh guidance, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, it, pre-programmed encyclopedic knowledge of <laughs> D&D 5e. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Move to where you want to move. Into the bushes. Jump into the bush. That's okay, actually a tree, by the way. That's not a bush. Oh. Yeah. I'm pressed against the tree then. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I can do? Um. I am going to utilize this as an opportunity then uh, to... Uh, Continue sneaking, I, I suppose, away. I I'm not a. Because there's no cover uh, around where the tree is, yeah? Uh, that is correct. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna take this as an opportunity to just uh, stay there, I suppose. Uh, unless I can hide, I can hide. That's one action. So I'm gonna try and hide. Okie doke. As well. So and is uh, the action economy and the way that it works in this game, folks. By the way, I'm not like 
not paying attention, I'm feeding my cat right now. Um, <laughs> is uh, you've got three actions on your turn, and you can spend it in a bunch of different ways. Certain actions uh, cost multiple uh, action points. Think about it like that. Um, and some of them cost one, some of them cost two, some of them cost all three, some of them are free. Um, and, um, in particular, sneak is one and hide is one. Okay. So, um, yeah, go ahead and make another stealth check. Okie doke. That's, that's a natural one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Immediately, uh, as you... I, I imagine you, like, stumble Wait. into the tree. Black. Yeah. May I use my hero point? Oh, wow. Using using stuff right away. I love it. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Hero points are another thing in this game. Uh, so you can hold up to three hero points. Um, hero points allow you to do a few different things. Um, essentially, uh, you can do... Uh, you can avoid death by using hero points. If you have any hero points, you spend all of them uh, to um, to uh, avoid dying, basically. Or you can spend one hero point to re-roll a check. So, go ahead. Oh, that, unfortunately, is still a critical fail in this case. You immediately hear the Oak Steward Enforcer say, There's one hiding over here! And point oh, to shit. You. I'll wave. And that's my turn. Okay. Karun. I'm over here um, at the general store, just kind of watching everything unfold. And I'm going to talk to the um, shopkeep just... Oh my stars, can you believe it? I ain't done seen nothing like that in my whole life. It happens all the time. The uh All the time? Oh yeah, I'm so tired of this stupid alarm. Uh, I came in around the same deaf. time as as them folks, and I I smelt it. I smelt the hooligan on them. What does that smell like exactly? Are you gonna buy anything? Um, does that that come with another color or blue? Blue, blue's good. What kind of blue? Like light blue, dark blue. Anything else on your turn, Karun? Uh, no. Adronis. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, immediately I'm, I'm contemplating. I can't get to my coins. I can't flip it to see what action I should actually take. So I'm going to go with my gut. My gut's telling me do not attack this person. Um, because I'm looking at Arcelia and Yara. You would have seen me wave. And I'm looking at, yeah, and I'm looking at Arcelia like, Oh, I want to do it. Um, and then I, what I'll do is, um, I, I believe that spell lasts for one round and I can attempt to escape. But before doing that, since we have three actions, I'm going to say it's a little cramp in here. I just wanted to drink and offer you a drink and what is this? And I'm going to drunkenly uh, try to shift my way through the thorns. Okay. Um, so Tanglefoot is a vine covered in sticky sap. Um, and you are currently taking a minus 10 foot circumstance penalty to your speed for one round. Uh, you can uh, attempt to escape. Um the area it is 30 feet so let me just mark that for you it would have just been like the area behind you basically like this 30 feet is six by six so this why mm. is it gray i must change my color make it red it's easy to see that space right there okay 
Yeah, so I'm going to try to snake my way through um, and go in the direction. Hmm. I guess I would go behind him. I try to sneak my way through. Or I wonder, well, I have to look, well, I have negative 10 movement. Can't I just tumble through? You can. And I will do that. I will attempt to tumble through. Okay. Tumble and that'll be my way of escaping, I guess. Absolutely. Tumble through is your, uh, is essentially uh, an acrobatic action that you can take um, that anybody can do. It is an untrained action and it costs one action to do and you have to make an acrobatics check for it. In this case, you had to beat 18. a 16. So you, in fact, do beat it. Uh, so I'm going to act it out because I don't want this guard to feel threatened. So I'm going to be like, oh, oh, oh look at this. <laughs> and uh, as I drink, I lunge myself forward and roll through uh, and end up, you know, I'm not going to go behind him. We're going to go in front of him right here. Be like, okay. oh, oh, that was close. Would you like a drink? I'm sorry if I startled you. I didn't mean to hurt you. Or to, to, to startle you, I should say. Um, this is going to be another action uh, mm-hmm. to try to essentially lie to this guy. Um, yeah, this will be a deception check or create a diversion. I'd say either one. Well, I'm technically not lying. This is for me, a Dronus, because I don't like liars. But I am okay. telling the truth to the point of... There is some truth there, so performance, it negates then. my lie. <laughs> Make a performance check. Uh, I'd rather <laughs> decept. <laughs> Tough titty. You decided to go the <laughs> you other just way. You argued against it. <laughs> you just argued against it, so. <laughs> hey! Whoa, fine. Whoa. That's now, what I'm known for. This isn't, like... this isn't a critical success okay. because it's a skill check. Um, mm. And you need to get 10 higher than the requirement. And guess what? It was pretty high. It's a 20 for this uh, after what wow. has happened. Yeah. Listen, we're always going to celebrate green number, yep. okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I just feel like, would you like a drink? I am so sorry. What can I do to help? Stand back? Um, he looks more confused than like, um, like, they're, like, he, like he's believing you. Um, and just, uh, like trying to figure out exactly what your motive is and what's going on here. Um, something along those lines. Okay. Um, and I have one more action. I am going to, I can still move. I still have, uh, 20 speed. Actually. Since I tumbled through and I successfully did, I gain panache. Okay. Uh, all right. Panache, that gives that's me, interesting. Yeah, any successful tumble through, I gain panache. Or if I do my class skill. Um, and with that, I Just will... Hamming it up. Hamming it up for the... Hamming it up, yes, yes. And I will uh, gain one plus one bonus to any... Tumble throughs that I do from now on. Excellent. Make sure to make a mark on your character there so you I'll remember. put a plus to the old the old two. Alrighty. Okay. Arcelia. Oh, oh, um, yes. Uh you excuse me, uh, Warden, sir. You said something about another one? Did this happen before recently? Are you trying to create a diversion? Uh, no, actually, I just want information. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this will be a diplomacy check. It's going to be super hard. Look, it's for my novel, okay? Uh, wait, I have, I have a question before. Since I had one more action mm-hmm. and I was confusing him, can that aid Arcelia? Uh, I don't think so. 
I think they're two okay. different things here. Fair enough. Um, what the hell? Just because I feel bad for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So we'll say that this 19 is a success then, because it was going to be a failure. Um, we'll say, uh, I, the other one, the other one, <laughs> excuse me. And he's trying to just kind of like just push you aside with the ed with the, with the, uh, edge of the staff, just trying to. How rude. Push you, push you what? away from the I, I am the no animal. Do not touch me with your stick. You're going left? I'm going left. <laughs> right? Oh. What are you doing? Okay, now I'm being a distraction. Well, uh, drink. Okay. <laughs> okay, create a diversion. Uh, deception. <laughs> 13. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Apparently I hit refresh. Uh, okay. Uh, that is a fail. Um, and he, um, yeah, he's just, he's trying to keep an eye on the situation and he's pointing sort of towards the north. He's pointed towards, um, Yara. She's over there. She's behind the tree. Do you want me to do something about it? Not you. Oh, oh, that, uh, okay. Um, uh, I'll move with my final action. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's my turn. Yoke stewards. Uh, the one up here. This. That's pointing at you, Yara, uh, is going to make their way over to there. And we'll say, halt right there. Oh, certainly. Hello, darling. I'm going to need to take you in. For what standing here? For crossing the line. That's a crime. Yes. I'm sorry. I just wanted to get a closer look so I could I could help with the sketch. Why do you imagine that the rope is there? I don't know. Perhaps to um. Uh, you know exactly why. Come with me. Do I? Do you? I'm not resisting at all. Okay. Yep. Uh, he's gonna start walking towards you. And, uh, yeah, he's going to, uh, he's going to grab you probably by the arm. Come with me. The old right? All right, there's no need to be so aggressive. All I did was touch a rope. Okay. You're going peacefully with this person? Yeah. Okay. Is anybody doing anything else? <clears throat> Not anymore. Trying on a nice blue sweater. <laughs> I um, am going to um sort of uh, I'm going to walk away. I'm gonna go back to the stall and be like, oh, this drink's not worth one copper. I'm gonna drop it down. I I will try to catch up with uh Yara. I'll go all the way around. Okay. <sighs> but for all intents and purposes, you guys are letting this happen, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, without without violence? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Flip a coin. Oh, 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 yes, without violence. Okay. <sighs> coin is flipped. And uh, Yara is being marched off by an oak steward. Um, the one in the front is keeping an eye on you, Adronis, as you're walking, walking off. Right. I'll be walking. Yeah, and, about halfway there. I want to just run there. Yeah. Um, and you don't, you don't have to, we, we can say that we're off this map now as Yara's being escorted out of the plaza. Ah. <sighs> 
But the gates are quite beautiful. You should let people get a closer look, honestly. Yara is being marched off as the squirrel alarm is wrapping up. Now, Yara gets marched off. What are the rest of you doing? <laughs> Haggling. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go catch up with Rastak because if I go to Arcelia, the remaining guards might make a connection. And I kind of just look at Arcelia with a very serious look. As in, like, take care of her type uh, look. And then I'll nod, and then I'll, uh... Get another drink and drop another copper. And walk off, and, um... And walk to her, I and be like, Can you believe that? And just having a drink, just trying to hear you go, eh, eh. And, uh, let's conversate with him. Then tone it down and get serious. It's not what I meant. This is not how they should do things. No. I'll try to keep up with the guard. Wait, uh, that's my friend. We were to just get information. I... Uh, I'm terrorist, am I right? What? Oh, what are you, uh, why are you sounding like that? That's not how humans... I'm, I'm talking to my friend over here. Oh. Shopkeeper, uh, what you say your name was? <sighs> Go find and stay with Arcelia. And my snake slithers off. I see a black and, um, pink and gold sort of colored snake, um, begin to crawl along the ground. Why do they do this every time they either get drunk or make someone angry? You don't think they were elves, do you? I just go find the inn. I'll be able to report in through my dear Essia. <sighs> God damn it. And I make my way off. Tiny brush hoping the other to follow. Look, it's been real nice. I just, I don't like the color so much. I'm so particular. <laughs> Why did you get that? It's garish. I didn't get I'm putting it back. Thank you. Like I appreciate garish. it. Toodle. No, 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 he colorblind. When really I am the colorblind one. We can see just but we see more spectrums than you do. All right, what are we oh, going to do? Get lizard. Come on, let's get out of here. All right. Thank you. I can tell them from afar without being seen. I... Essia can communicate with me from a distance. Oh, that's... Oh, that's what you were doing. Okay, I thought you were speaking into your cloak. I have no idea. Uh, no, it's... It's fine. Okay. She'll be fine. Right. I really think I'm getting the hang of the human thing. To get oh, used to it. I agree. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Are we still going to the brothel? No, it's not. It's a cabaret. The brothel cabaret. Is a brothel I, here? Probably, but I do not think this is a brothel. Well, just wondering. We need to find out where they're taking her. Well, there's <sighs> probably that guard who's at the brothel cabaret who would know. I've had my fill with guards. I think we could get information from the inn, which was what I thought our original intention was. Yes, it was, um, 
supposed to be tourists who are very interested into in the in the, in the gates and uh, stumble your way in i guess stumbling i did not expect it to have a raging alarm that is what uh, yes uh, all right well we have the rough direction of it i'm sure it will be noticeable i will not travel with you I will go my uh, separate way, but I will be on the same mission as you to find them because the guard over there is eyeing me pretty steadily. Uh, that was some great drinking! Yes! Like in Yo. a good way? Like he wants you? No, no, no. Or... Good drink! Okay! And I, um, I, I walk off and I try to. I'll be hitting some stalls here and there, but initially making my way. To the direction I saw them take her. All right, I guess I'll get the room again. <sighs> Come along. So, your snake is going to find out where Arcelia is being held. Yes. Not Arcelia, Yara is being held. Yes. Yes. Can your snake find you back anywhere? Like, no matter I... where you are? Yes, we have a bond. Oh, that's great. Then let's go to the brothel then. It's not... Yes, we'll go to the brothel. Get the practice, my human. Yeah, I think it would be very quick for them to catch that you're very human if you get unclothed. I'm not getting unclothed, it's just the brothel. What do you think a brothel is? Where they go dancing and farting, I don't know, it's a human thing. <laughs> It is rather human, and I suppose, I think, I, I think Adronis said at one time he went to a brothel and there was farting. I did not no, understand. No, I, can't, I can't fart. Can you? Uh, my cloaca does pass air, but that is a different issue. Wow. Oh, it's a human thing. I suppose. Probably uh, drinking as well. Let's go. We'll go, but it's not a bro. <sighs> and I make my way to the Honeybrush Cabaret. Oh, for dancing and farting. Um, very well. <sighs> Meanwhile, Yara. You are brought to the northeast, not too far from the plaza. Um, the, uh, the building in front of you is, um, mm, uh, a large building and it, you can see that there are, um, it's very judicious looking. Um, you can see that there are there is a sign there that says Justice House, and uh, the Oak Steward Enforcer begins to uh, sort of march you inside, and says, "Sit down over there." All right, I oblige. Hello, is it all right that I'm here? We're, we're together. Uh, that's fine. Just don't cause any trouble. Sit down over there. Should say any more trouble. Apologies. I didn't know going over a rope would cause such a stink. There are signs. I didn't read them quite obviously. Apologies. Well, maybe you should. Instead of going and touching things or experimenting on things willy-nilly. Apologies. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Don't move. You are Marches excused. Off. I'll move to sit down next to Yara. Hmm. Are you all right? I, I'm perfectly fine. It's, 
It's just a bit of rope. Here, we're taking it very seriously. Did you find anything? Yes, we'll talk on that later. Hmm. Do you want to see my sketch? Yes, perhaps I can assist you with the fine details, since I was able to procure some fine details. Yes, actually, could you? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, there's... Um, kind of guessed in this area here. Yes, a little bit of an etching there. Mm. Oh, oh mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm. Oh, make yes. it slightly crumbly in the corner. Oh. It's yes. vintage. Mm. Thank you. Of oh. course. So, uh, Justice House. Is this where the I'm... Justice lives? <laughs> suppose so. Perhaps I'll be going away for the rest of my life for touching a bit of rope. That would be a cruel fate, wouldn't it? Oh. I hope not. That would be terrible. We shall see, I suppose. Well, someone mentioned that it happens all the time, so... Well, you know, some societies chop people's heads off all the time. I suppose that is true. Hmm. And if that were to happen, know that I enjoyed your company every waking moment that I uh, had a chance to be around you. Oh, you... That's very sweet, Yara, but clearly that's not what's going to happen here. Um, are there any other people being told to sit down around us? Um, yeah, there's nobody else sort of in your penalty zone. Looks like we're the only criminals today. Oh, I feel like a little kid in school. I think they'd get mad if I littered. Maybe do it on the way out. Okay, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I think that might be the beneficial way to do it. Excuse me. I would like to file a complaint. See, like to file a complaint. see a Dronus at like uh, at a at a little desk area up ahead. There's a very um, uh, studious looking halfling that's working there. Looks like backup is here. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Hello? What you want to file? What? I want to. I want to file a complaint. Oh, I have been assaulted. I one of your guards. And what were you doing? Nothing. I was drinking and enjoying the the, uh -huh. the center of town like everyone else, and I might have tripped a little bit and stumbled, uh -huh. but I didn't do any harm. Next thing you knew, a flashing light happened, and then this these really thorny vines in the uh -huh. hurt. So he well. didn't. He didn't physically assault you. Well, if you call vines poking you in, the, in places you do not want to be poked, I would say that's an insult. Uh, all right, I'm going to need you to fill out some paperwork. Okay. How much paperwork? Uh, well, this. Let's start with this. <laughs> oh, <wow>. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, once you've filled that one out, uh, that's the petition for a request to speak with the magistrate. That's great. It's more. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Then uh, you actually have to fill out the paperwork for the actual... Um, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You just fill out the petition first. But it's so long. Why are there so many pages? I don't know. I didn't write it. Can you help me fill it out? No. Okay. Is there a space I've got place other where I can see? Because it's so busy in here. Well, just yeah. because it's not busy in here doesn't mean that I don't have work to do. Fair enough. Should I just sit over there with the rest of your visitors? Fine. Okay. I stumble over. <laughs> I'm holding this. So, are you okay? 
Everything's all right. I'm just waiting for an appointment, it seems. So, was a success. My mm-hmm. plan was good. Uh, uh, what was your plan? Well, the food was very awful. I, I tried to, you know, have some samples. It wasn't very good at all. Did you get you not kill or anything? And then I had a drink, and then when I walked over, ah, was, uh, I bumped into that garden. He assaulted me with thorns, hurt me, stuck me in places that I did not know I wanted not to be stuck. And very was, um, unprofessional to do that to a civilian. Exactly. I think I feel a spot of blood coming on, and you know it. Uh, I'm sorry, you got uh, <clears throat> caught. Oh, that's all right. It's, it's my own fault. Got no, it's mine. It's my fault. I should have, should have been the one to take it. Do you need help filling out that paperwork? Yes, uh, you can. I'm start very good this at pile. paperwork. And 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 then once you're done with that, there's this, and I have to do the top sheet. So far, I've gotten to the name part. I was thinking more of a John. I begin to fill out the paperwork. Hey, you don't have to actually fill it. Okay. Um, I'm going to get you out of here. If things go bad, don't worry. I'm sure they'll be perfectly reasonable. Drowness, can you hear me? There's the thing, headache. We're having a bet, me and the lizard, about whether or not the brothels, about what happens at the brothels. (laughs) Um, excuse me, I have brain diarrhea or something. I, I, I don't know. Tell I, it's me just what like... happens at them? Is it, is it farting? No fart, no fart. I mean, I will be hey, right me. back. All right. Uh... Somebody farted? I, I, oh, oh, the thorn must have hit me there. Loosen the area up. Sorry. What? Nothing. Um. I should probably add that to the paperwork. You yes, might be yes. Compensated Explosive. for Explosive. Right. Ever since yeah. the the light went off, my head has been splitting. Stop that. Are you so, okay? like, a, as I was saying, um, if something happens, I will get you out. <laughs> and I uh, get up and I look around and I want to just look around the area. Okay. Um, yeah, there's probably, I mean, I imagine going in, there's kind of like the, uh, reception area. And then, uh, from what you can tell, you can hear there's, uh, you can probably see the Oak steward. Like if you stand up and just kind of look around a little bit, uh, talking to somebody in the background, um, there's some offices and things, uh, back uh, behind the, uh, behind the desk. And like, there's a counter there. Um, uh, and you can see there's just some, um, there's a lot of, like, natural light coming in as well. Like, there's mm. a lot of plants and things, um, that they've got all over. Like, this would be PB's dream bureaucracy place. There's just plants everywhere. It's all green. Um, and, um, like... Do I see any snakes? Uh, snakes. Uh, you can make a perception check. Okay. Or a snake, I should say. A twelve. Um, I've got a question for you, Arashtok. Um, yes. W- and I'm sorry, I I did not understand the name of your 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 snake. Again. Essia. Essia. Can you spell it for me? I have done uh, so. Okay, thank you. Essia. Um. Would Essia be? Um. Staying as close as possible to Yara or the Oak Steward? Uh, Arcelia is who I sent Essia oh, okay. after. Okay. Um, so I imagine that, yes, you would see uh, Essia there. Um, probably just hmm. right near Arcelia's feet. Hey, am I familiar with this snake? If you've paid attention. Oh. <laughs> just be like, oh! Um... There. 
Can you stop making noise, please? And just fill out the paperwork? Yes. Oh, I dropped my quill. <laughs> yes, yes. Um. I pick up the snake and casually put them in my pocket. Well, so I don't see any way of entry or exit, just in case. Um, I mean, 12. just the way you came in, yeah. Mm. I'll sigh and just sit back down and start filling up paperwork and uh, shake my head. The actions that you've taken a month, we didn't make any hostile actions, which is good. We'll just wait for them to say what they need to say. You'll probably get a warning and a fine, most like. Yes, I suppose we'll see. I'm not too worried about it. Even if they do chop my head off, I suppose. They're not going to chop your pretty head off, don't worry. It's I mean, I'd look good on a, on, a, on a pike, you know. <sighs> probably shouldn't tell them that though, right? Don't give them any ideas. Certainly, all right. Which one is it? Is it the one over there? Uh, that fellow who retreated into that doorway? Hmm. Oh, if only they could make this go faster, though. That would be splendid. Do you want to take turns filling out the paperwork? You don't actually have to fill the paperwork out. Oh, um, I just like paper so much. It's got a nice weight to it. You're on it's page a... five already. It's like... 40 pages. It's a 220 pound stock. Deckled edges. Good quality. Shortly thereafter, you see the Oak Steward uh, making out, um, making their way out of the office uh, with a, um, with a human uh, man um, in um, uh, sort of Similar clothing to the Oak Steward, similar colors and whatnot, um, but uh, they have a more regal air to them. Uh, he makes his way out and um, he says, Are these the troublemakers or troublemaker? That would be me. Hello. I'm just filling up paperwork. Hmm. So I'm all with her. three of them around the around the arches. Hmm. Is there supposed to be something behind that of coincidence? I'm with her, not with him. Yes, I, there were many people around the arches area. I was eating Fair and enough. drinking. What were you doing? All right, so my companion here with a lovely green skin is, um, is a writer. Now, um, she is writing about seven arches, as well as the Ayudara, which she would like to have an accompaniment of illustrations of the Ayudara. So, I didn't realize a bit of rope was going to cause so much of a stink, I apologize. I did not mean to cause such a fuss or to take time out of your day or anything of that sort. Um, I simply just wanted to get a visual on it so that I could more appropriately assist her in actually drawing something, uh, making a better illustration than it would be uh, without those finer details. As you can see, she can she can show you her artwork and the fine details that I did help her with. Going to need you to make a deception check. Now, we were telling the guard this beforehand. Uh huh. So the seed has been planted in that with regards to that. I just want to make sure that's known. Sure. 14. 14. <laughs> Now, we did have a drawing of the arches and everything with fine details. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> the single line is the best. I had to draw with oh, eyeliner. I don't have a marker. Wow, worker. it's great. It uh, would be way more in depth. The commitment to the bit. Um, all right. So, uh, make a performance check for me, Arcelia. Wait, is this how good my sketch is? Yeah. Oh, dang. I'm sweating. 
Oh, 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 no. oh no! It and looks Mark, exactly like points? what you drew. On that <laughs> hero, hero points. Hero I'm points. gonna. I'm gonna use my hero point here. Oh, okay. Uh, because I would actually really, really care about what I put into my sacred book. Yeah. Wow! Oh, wow! Whoa. Yeah, you do. Amazing. That is very go. good. Yes, thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> She's an even better writer. We have some artists come by every now and again, but I don't think I've ever seen it. Anyway, it is against our laws what you did. Um... There is a fine. Oh. Ten gold pieces. Oh. Oh. But we're going to bring you so much business with these writings, and that drawing is beautiful. I'm um, excuse me. Before I, I, I do not know what's going on, but I do. I was filing a complaint. I was harassed in front of these gates, and I am willing to pardon the complaint. I am on page five, and I'm willing to. Pardon this stack of papers and all of the trouble that I'm going to give you. Is they seem like such lovely individuals. What does that have to do with anything? They look like tourists. Of course they're is tourists. You, Who's questioning if they're you, tourists or not? But is that how you treat your tourists to this beautiful town? If they're very want much drawing, just art. They just broke no the law. The, now, well, if we, you'll they, be they, so they, kind as to... Fill out your paperwork about, what did you say it was? A, a harassed? Harassed, right? with thorns pointing me all over the place. You see this blood? You probably don't see it. It's okay, it's under the shirt. They only cast the Tanglefoot spell if someone is being unruly. I wasn't being unruly. I was drinking and offering a drink. Ah, right. So, fill out the paperwork and then I'll make time to read it. Eventually. How many trees have died for this paperwork? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I was having a conversation with these two. Fine. Yes. Fine. Exactly. Well, admittedly, I genuinely do not have that money. So is there anything that I can do to perhaps mitigate it or perhaps uh, something in order to make it so that I actually can pay for this thing, or...? What about your friend? Don't... Don't worry. I... I've... I got it. Um... But ten gold is so much money! It's... They're just doing their job. It's fine. But all Can I you... did was touch a rope! It'll be fine. No. <sighs> just touch a rope? Uh, the... Uh, the Oak... Oak Steward speaks up said... Uh, you were putting your hands all over the Ayudara, and the... You, you were inside, and... You had some... some you, you had something that you were pointing at it. I, sorry, Magistrate. What do you mean, pointing at it? Well, they... She had something. It looked like a... Glass tube. Glass tube? Do you mean my flute? I'll pull out my flute. Nice. Go ahead and make a deception check. You made this significantly easier. Thirteen. Uh, I guess it, it could have been that. Uh, maybe. Why were you pointing your flute at the Ayudara? It's going to sound so stupid. I wanted to test the resonance. Of it on the Ayodara. I know. I know. Oh. It's really, it sounds really stupid. But as you can see, uh, I love music and I play music. So. Anyway, here's the 10 gold. Can we go now? Yes, you can be on your way, but don't do that again. And I don't want to see you back in here. Certainly. Can I get your name by a chance? Yes. For my book? I am Magistrate Roland Blackthorn. Are you at the head of the Struid Order? No, I am the Magistrate here. I preside over the court and 
ensure the laws and order are maintained. Oh, you must have been, you must be terribly busy these days then. I heard about the dreadful news in the South Road. I heard about that. Hmm. Where did you hear about that? Someone walking by. Uh, uh, I'm writing a book, you can see, with my beautiful drawing of your seven arches. Um, but, uh, yes, something about spirits, different kinds, attacking people. Dreadful, dreadful. The Gorgas, right? Or the Gorgas? The Gorgas, what they yes. Said? Hmm. Yeah. What do you know about the Gorgas? Oh, I know. Only from what I've been told. There are different kinds, and they are creatures of hunger and shadow that prey on the good people of light. Yeah. They're supposed to be of fey origin, yes? Hmm. Fey. Hmm. Yes, they are. What do you know? Um, make a diplomacy check. <laughs> And actually, Wack, would I know I would I know anything about them based off of my uh, lore undead? No. No. This okay. would be lore fey, or uh, you can make a. Mm, I think it would be a cult. I think okay. it would just be it would be yeah be based on a fey thing. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll roll occultism as well. Uh, I said it would. I don't think it would be an occultism thing. Oh, um, okay. Never mind. Uh, okay, so yeah, he he says, "I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of time here. Um, you can be on your way, but yes, the Gorga situation is troubling. Just make sure to stay off the South Road." Anyway. Do you know when the attacks started? Attacks? People have been attacked by these creatures, no? A few days ago. As I said, I have other work to do. Please be on your way. Very good. Thank and, you. And you finish the paperwork and I'll yes, probably yes, the take a look at it. All right, fine, fine. Page six. The uh, magistrate walks off. I think he knows more than he's letting on. He certainly does. Did you not see the door of opportunity in front of you? No. Well, clearly they're busy with their rumors or the happenings. We could have used that as a bargaining chip to work for them. Uh, yes. A deed for a deed. Get your tin gold back, first of all. Second of all, if we do a good job, maybe they'll let us look at the gates. Excuse me, magistrate. And I turn and uh, <laughs> uh, take can, the paper back up to the counter. You can hear his eyes rolling, like, as he turns around. <laughs> you, you know, yes. I... I was wondering, I do Moonlight as an investigator. Would you like me to look into it? You said it's been keeping you awfully busy. I work for the Doctor's Illuminated Consortium of Impops. What? And I work with her, to be clear. Uh, we are investigators. Go ahead and make a, a, a diplomacy check. <laughs> um, you can roll as well, uh, Yara. Twenty-three. We investigate all sorts of things. Uh, you could call us dice if you prefer. It's a lot shorter, a lot less, uh, you know, horrific to try to pronounce everything. But um, yeah, we investigate all sorts of things: paranormal, uh, historical. Uh, all the creepy crawlings in the night. Look at this rock I found. <laughs> it looks like one of the ruins. Yes. Sorry. 
Very cool. It's my rock collection. So, what we are proposing in this instance is that perhaps we could do uh, part of your job for you, at least. Hired on as, like, contractors or something. We're quite good at our job. You should put... Where did you get that rock? The investigator never gives their secrets. She was on the road outside of town. All right, maybe investigators give their secrets. I want to be transparent with our potential employers. Well, when you're done sketching it, be sure to put it back. Page seven. So? So, um... Uh, what say you? Look, I am busy. There's a lot to do here. Uh, come by tomorrow, and maybe I'll have something for you. Wonderful. Is it all right if, um, if we are going to be doing some sort of a job, if I try to round up some people that might be able to assist us? These gorgas are meant to be quite ferocious, yes? Yes. Very well. I'll see if we can round up some stragglers then. All right. Thank you, Magistrate. Thank you for the opportunity. Good day. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Good idea, Adronis. Page eight. <laughs> So, shall we go to the cabaret, Marcelia? Yes, uh, I could use a drink. More mm. fun than filling out paperwork. Nine. Ooh. You leave the Justice House, and we find Arashtok and Harun, um... At the Honeybrush Cabaret. Do you know how badly so, I want to play the Honeybee Inn music from Final Fantasy uh -huh. VII Remake right now? So, so bad. All I'm, all I'm saying is that if it's... Why would they call it a brothel if they don't sell soup broth? Hey. It's humans. They love I, eating. It's all they do. I don't know how you are so dis- I lived in a swamp and I know this. Doesn't make any sense. It, it, a brothel is a place that I think uh, many of them fornicate. You're thinking of a tavern. They sell broth at a tavern. But why would they sell broth at the tavern and not the brothel? No, it's... It, it, it's... Same as sounds, Do they sell tavs words. at the tavern? I don't know what a tav is. Because it doesn't exist, because humans make no sense, is my point. Maybe keep your voice down as you are a human, Janet. <laughs> and... <laughs> done forgot. Right, My yes. silly human brain, done for maybe God. Just, maybe stop referring to yourself as human. You do not My need silly to normal brain, for <sighs> God. I think that's better. I wonder where they are. Poor Hesio was anxious for a while, but it seemed uh, they've calmed down. Mm. There. Excuse me. I have sat down at a table. Mm -hmm. Yep. Somebody uh, begins to walk over to you. And, uh, let's see. Is, is there anything else going on in here? Like, are they dancing? Oh, yeah, for sure. Am I validated in that they are? there's dancing here at the there's brothel? There's definitely dancing. People so then I am validated. Yeah, for Thank sure. Thank you. There's probably people farting as well. You just can't see it. <laughs> it smells like human, probably. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, there is a uh, very graceful looking performer on stage um, who is uh, dancing right now. Um, they have very, very long, uh, straight hair. Um, as they move around, they use their hair to um, conceal different parts of their body as they dance in a sort of um, dramatic fashion with bits of eroticism. And um, you call over uh, someone uh, dressed in black. A um, uh, woman uh, approaches you, Arashtok. Hello. Uh, do you have a menu of some kind? Yes, of course. And um, they just take out, there's like a slip of uh, paper on the table that they uh. pull out and hand it over to you. Sugar you like my eyes don't, they don't work so good. Could you tell me whether or not we got soup here? Soup? Don't yes. Have soup. We don't have soup. Darn. No kinds of broth or nothing? No. That's no. all right. Thank you, sugar. I appreciate you. Is that it? Do you <sighs> want any wine? People usually order wine here. Tea? It's a what kind, cabaret, what, sir. What kind of thing do people normally get here? What's your speciality? Wine. So we'll no have tea. Two of those. Oh. Two wines. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so do you have, have any meat? Oh, they're here. Oh, they would, would you like red wine? White whatever wine? Whatever the normal, whatever the normal kind is. Whatever I'll take two people. reds. And do you have a salad? Yeah, salad sounds good. You got salad? That's a food. Excuse me. You're excused. Over here! I do not think I'm they have salads. I'm already at the table. <laughs> You're screaming. Oh, wow, it just came right out of nowhere, huh? Oh, no, I, I walked her. from the front entrance. There was a, a lot of time. I even heard Sorry. you talking about fornicating. It's just human smell everywhere. It's so hard to know. Right. They do not have broth here. Or tea. They may or may not have salads. At least it's not listed on this menu. Hmm. Well, uh... And do you see the dancer flailing up there? This is a human joint through and through. No food. Flailing around like a frenzy. Smelling. I, I think, think the Janet, dancing's quite nice. It is like rather the, nice. The music is really nice. I like that. And I mean, you also smell Janet. You smell like formaldehyde. <laughs> well, I mean, whether or not that's a good thing, you know, it's never. up to them. Mm -hmm. It does have a point, though. I didn't you use it this morning. I, I did, yeah, I did. All over. Yes, I saw you spill slightly. I had to de disinfect everything. Well, of course, it makes a proper sense. How else am I going to brew the thing I gave Yara? This makes sense. With formaldehyde? No, not with formaldehyde, just as a precursor. It's, <gasps> don't worry about it. Are you feeling better at all? What are you experiencing? Well, uh, horrific bouts of anxiety, I will admit. Anxiety. Today has been. Y yes, today has been very anxiety inducing. Did you get arrested at all? Yes, that's they why they left. Me. Oh, yes. well, then I'll mark that one down to arrested. Did you, Is that um. A symptom? Oh. Did you have to pay any money at all? Did you feel like loose with your gold? I didn't. Arcelia felt loose with her gold. Oh, I was just getting you out of some trouble. No big deal. Thank you. Well done. I ordered thank some you. wines for you. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. 
I could use a drink. Yes, I do not have tea. Well, we have some developments. Oh, good, mm. hopefully. Yes, um, there was some sort of activity. Um, I was able to uh, poke through three of them. There was some activity, so we'll discuss that more in depth if we're, you know. Mm. Perhaps private. in our rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, but that being said, we may be potentially getting some sort of a job with the magistrate. That seems... Is that good? That does not seem a, good. A second job? Why do we have more jobs? Well, no, to this, do? Is just, this is just, this is just, honestly, in case we find the time for it. But yes, um, y you know those creatures that everyone's been talking about? The fey ones, the gorgas? Where's my head? No. No. Oh, Adronis, we're over here. No, we, you, you left, remember? You were oh, okay. arrested. Right. Uh, well, Arsini, if you'd like to enlighten our friends here about uh, the Gorgas and what's oh. going on with them. Oh, yes. Apparently on the Southern Road, there's just been attacks oh. for quite some time. And we're supposedly to see the Magistrate tomorrow and get a job. Mm. I that... have a suspicion it might be tied in with the Aedar. I could agree with that if there's different things happening all at once, but is that wise with our dear, very inconspicuous friend Janet? I, I heard my my name, my normal name. Janet's been doing well so far, yes. and if <laughs> we, you know, manage to help out the magistrate, then perhaps we might get a closer look at the Idara again. No. Deed for a deed. Scratch for a scratch. Perhaps. Uh, were you able to, by the way, do what you wished, Yara? Do what I wished? In the goal? Yes. Yes. Well, then we're done here, aren't we? Well, uh, I suppose we'll have to probably stay somewhere overnight, but we should... Um. See if we can find uh, Fayanara, yes. Yes, we have to leave. I need you to make yes. a roll for me, please. Um, this is going to be, I think, a straight up into check. Okay. Actually, I will. What's your arcana? Um, uh, arcana is uh, one as well. Okay, so it would so be the same. Eight. Um, all right. Okay, continue, sorry. But yes, um, I suppose we'll discuss the finer details when we are not here, so to speak. All right, well, um, should we leave town then to go to sleep, or are you guys wanting to get a room here? Because I can afford it. To get the room for myself. And what are there rooms in? here? Oh, there's plenty of rooms here, aren't there? Can we all afford to stay here, though? Because some of us might have gotten arrested and had to give away well, all I'm of not our gold. That. I am not that fucking broke. Well, I did have to give away two copper to pay for my drinks. Well, if anyone needs a bed, you can share mine, but I am a terrible snorer, and I don't apologize for it. So are we getting rooms then? Yes. Uh, he did not see the front desk. It was more we entered in and there were tables. I'll go find out for you. Adronis, you, your, your, your jaw. You, you, mm, you might yes. Want to, I, I, you, I'll go. I'll, I'll, yeah. Oh. Um, I will go find out and see if there's uh, rooms available. The one dancing seems like she knows more. I'll be right back. That is a good place for us to end our session. <laughs>